Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Nastasia, and if you hear our ratchet washer right now, it's like on its last leg, and it just, it sounds like it's going to fly out of the room at any point, so you might hear that in the background. Today, I am talking about hate, so I'm talking about kind of, well, I've had a few questions in the past of how I deal with, like, hate comments, or um, just people who genuinely don't like me as a person and kind of how I deal with that, but also like how to apply it to you guys too, who you might not have a YouTube channel or anything like that, but you just feel like hate in different ways from people. Um, so I'm talking about that today, but before I do, if you end up liking this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss out in a video every time I post and also hit the bell down here somewhere because apparently that's a thing now that we're supposed to do. <laughs> also, I wanted to let you guys know that I have been trying so hard to get five videos out a week. I feel like I need to skip a little. Um, but it is honestly, like, impossible for me to do because I work from eight to five, Monday through Fridays, and I have about an hour and a half to two hour commute on the daily basis, like combining the morning and the evening. Um, and so, honestly, it's just, it's very, very difficult to, like, get five videos a week. Um, not that I couldn't do it, but it gets to the point then where I don't enjoy it. I dread filming because I have to film five and edit five and do this and do that. And, like, it makes me that I don't like it. So, I'm cutting back as much as I, I was like, just try it for one more week. And if you can't do it, then you can cut it back and I can't do it. So... I'm cutting it back to three a week, so you guys will, st I, I, that's basically what I've been doing anyway, because I haven't been able to get five out, so it'll continue being three a week, because that I can definitely do for you guys, and I hope you understand, honestly, I'm just so exhausted, like, all the time, that I feel like to still enjoy it, and give you guys my 100%, I have to do three a week, um, but yeah, so you'll still be getting consistent content from me, and three videos a week is still quite a bit so um, you'll still be getting that so don't fret um, but getting right into the subject now is dealing with hate I think one in one way or another we all kind of deal with this whether you're in a situation like I am where I deal with it in my like normal life and also on YouTube and social media and stuff like that but also like I've been through high school high school sucks getting hate sucks so maybe you're bullied or maybe you're not bullied but you can just feel when people don't like you and all of that and it's just not a fun thing to deal with and it's easy for people to say don't care what people think um but sometimes that doesn't always work <laughs> like just saying that doesn't help the situation I was in church last week something the pastor said was the weight of a hundred or even a thousand gnats like those little tiny flies fruit flies still doesn't equal the weight of an elephant and what I mean by that is you could have a million people telling you that you're not good enough, that you're not pretty enough, that you are a failure, that you're not this, not that, not that. But you need to think of either the person or something in your life that is the elephant to you and that their opinion weighs way more than a thousand gnats who are just there to annoy you. Um, so for me and for a lot of you who are watching, the elephant for us is God, um, what Jesus thinks of us and what he has always thought of us. His opinion weighs uh, so much more than what a thousand, a million, as many people in the world could think of us. Um, it doesn't matter compared to what Jesus thinks. So, for instance, I'm sure I have a lot of controversial opinions compared to the culture nowadays. And, um, you know, it's been... So many times people have attacked me for believing in something that goes with the Bible um, that is written in scripture and they will pour hate and hate and hate and while they're calling me hateful, they are just screaming obscenities at me while I'm just sitting there and taking it. And I have to think in my head, but at the end of the day, whose opinion weighs more, these people or God? I would so much rather have God proud of me and knowing that I did the right thing than these people. And maybe it's not even that serious. Maybe it's just something where people just aren't nice to you for your content on YouTube or the pictures you post on Instagram or anything. Maybe you like to write poetry or something and people don't like it or people make fun of you or something. Um, first of all, God is always on your side as long as you are in line with scripture and, um, 
you know, giving the glory to him. But all, God also puts people in our lives that build us up. So maybe your person, your elephant in your life is your mom or your best friend or your significant other or something like that that even if everybody's opinion is sucky towards you that one person's opinion means so much to you that you think about and you're like honestly those others don't really matter um and so like try to figure out what your elephant is um and if you can't think of a single like person in your life i promise you always have god and that's something i've had to rely on sometimes is um like something for me is men in my life or people I've like guys I've dated in the past and like Satan will use it against me all the time and haunt me with the, the ideas of like what I did wrong or what I did wrong even if I didn't do anything wrong but like trying to convince me and getting me stuck in the past basically just trying to keep me in the past and I will think over and over like man what did I do wrong to mess that up or like why didn't they want me or why didn't this or why didn't that or why couldn't have worked out or something and I have to think at the end of the day, even if all of those men in my past hate me, which they don't, by the way, <laughs> it's not like that. But even if they did, their opinions compared to gods of me is significantly insignificant. Like, um, and that's not me trying to drag on them. They're great people. Like, it's not that. This is just an example. Um, and so I have to think about that sometimes of... Even if things are hard right now, God's opinion and his love for me is an elephant compared to all the gnats in the world that could throw this at me and that at me and all of that. Um, and so try to figure out also who are the gnats in your life. Um, maybe you've been focusing on somebody's opinion as an elephant opinion when it really should be a fruit fly opinion. Um, maybe it's that friend that really isn't a friend to you and you need to like, they can still be your friend, they can, you can still hang out with them, have fun with them and all that, but maybe at the end of the day, their opinion isn't one that you really need in your life anyway. But for me, if you are curious, with hate, um, I'm a lot of times will get hate comments on my channel from it's really two people, um, like two, not two individual people, but two type of people. Like it's either somebody who really hates God, like not just doesn't believe in him. I'm talking hates God. They will comment and say really obscene things. You guys might have seen them sometimes. Um, I usually don't delete them because I'm like, you know what? If you want to look like an idiot, go ahead because they, they make themselves look so like they're trying to prove a point, but them like saying all these hateful things doesn't prove anything um or i'll just comment back and be like lol <laughs> um or i will get hateful comments from the super christian and what i mean by that is somebody who i'm not dressed modestly enough i wear too much makeup to be a christian i am too laid back to be a christian i don't have I, I need more, I need to be trained in theology to be talking about this. I shouldn't be talking on the internet because I'm a woman and I shouldn't be sharing anything about the gospel or I this or that or this or that. Um, and with that, <laughs> I it makes me sad because I'm like, you are giving Christians a bad name um, because you're making it seem like this is a cult. And it's not. It is a relationship with Jesus Christ where he is merciful and loving and we are doing our best and we try every day to bring glory to God. Um, but we are sinful. Um, and so that. And then there's always the random third party that is usually some creepy guy in love with me. And then I am like, no, thank you. Or I ignore them or something. And then they go bat crazy. And... Say I'm a horrible person and what kind of Christian am I because I'm not in love with them. Those are the three types of hate I get on this channel if you are ever curious. Um, but that's okay because it's the internet and anybody who wants to throw jabs at me, their opinion is this big compared to God's and also compared to my family who's supportive and my friends and um, also myself, my opinion of myself. And so I hope this inspires you a little bit to stop paying so much attention to the little gnat and the little fruit fly annoying opinions 
and pay attention to the elephant in the room opinion of what Jesus really thinks of you. So, I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye!